Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Mowing season is here. Whether we like it or not, it's mowing season. So today's vlog, we're gonna take you around the tractor. We're gonna show you a little bit about the tractor, take you through what we do before we go mowing, and ask you if you have any input, if you have any suggestions. So come along today. We'll show you what it takes to get started mowing here on the farm. The processes that we go through, the maintenance that we go through to ensure that our equipment lasts and doesn't break down. Let's go have some fun. Woo! So folks, for the sake of this video, I'm using these nitrile gloves just so that when I get on the tractor, I'm not covered in grease. When you do this, you tend to get grease kind of all over your hands and all over everywhere. There's almost no way to do this without getting grease somewhere. So in the interest of handling a camera and showing you, I'm going to wear gloves. So the first thing we want to address here is the tractor. We're using a John Deere 5065 tractor. It's 63 horsepower, I believe, to the PTO, which is plenty for this BB72. It's a Woods BB72 brush cutter, and that's a very heavy duty brush cutter. It can cut stuff up to about that big, okay? So it's really kind of overkill for what we're doing now. But for when we bought the farm, it wasn't overkill. There were sticks and limbs and trees growing up all through our fields that were huge, that were like this big, even up to as big as your wrist, this thing will handle it, okay? So it's a heavy, heavy duty brush cutter. What we're gonna do with the tractor here is we're gonna go through, we're gonna check the oil, and we know we just changed the oil, so it should be good. But every time before you fire your tractor up, should check the oil. And then we've got some lubrication points on this loader right here. We haven't lubricated it yet this year, so we're gonna go ahead and go through there and lubricate it really good. And basically, put two shots of grease in each grease fitting. Pretty simple. Now there are several schools of thought on this. How many squirts to put in there? I just put either two or three squirts. And it depends on how big the articulating spot is that I'm putting the grease in. So let's get busy lubricating this thing, check the oil, and then we'll take you around to the back of the tractor and show you what we have to do in order to lubricate the brush cutter or bush hog or mowing deck or whatever you want to call it. We call it a bush hog around here. That's just kind of the slang term. I know bush hog is a brand, but we call that a bush hog or a brush cutter or a mowing deck. All right. So on this 5065 right here on the right hand side is our dipstick. And man, that oil looks good. Now what I've always been taught is you could start the tractor and then you've got to pull out the dipstick, wipe it off, stick it back in and check the oil. Or if the tractor's sitting stationary overnight, you can just pull out the dipstick, look at it. It should be just slightly over full because there's no oil circulating through the engine. Guys, tractor guys, mechanic guys, post me a comment down there. Let me know if I'm right, okay? And now for my tractor disclaimer. I don't claim to be a tractor expert. I don't claim to be a farm expert. I don't claim to be a mechanical expert. I'm a dude using this tractor to mow his fields. If you have any knowledge you'd like to share with us, please share it with us. We'd all like to know. And what we don't wanna hear is condescending ridiculous comments about how smart you are about your tractor. Because if you were really smart, you'd share the knowledge and you wouldn't be condescending. All right? Now I'm not gonna take you through and show you squirting grease in each grease fitting. It just doesn't make any sense. I will take you through and show you one grease fitting and how we do it on the front, and then I'll take you and show you one on the back and how we do it. There are basically a couple knuckles on the back that articulate, and those are the ones we're gonna have to put grease in. Now here on the loader itself, there are grease points in basically every moving area. So there's a grease point here, there's a grease point here, there's a grease point back here, there's a grease point here. And on the grapple, that's what we have. That's what this critter right here is called on the front. And it's basically a big grabber, okay, for pushing brush up. And I like to put that on the tractor because I know I've got a tree down. So while I'm mowing, if I run into a place where a tree is down, I can just push that tree back up into the woods. So it's got several lubrication points and really very simple. I think there's one there, one there, just very, very simple stuff. So let me show you how we grease 
one grease fitting real quick. So this is the grease gun that I use. Pretty simple, not too bad. In a future vlog, I'll show you how to load a grease gun. I tell you what, that was a big challenge for me when I first started working on the farm here. Now I have a rag and basically what I'll do is I'll take my rag and I'll wipe out my grease fittings and I'll make sure the end of this grease gun is nice and clean, okay? Really maintenance wise on this, you probably only have to lubricate it twice a year for the amount that I use it, but you know, it depends. If it starts squeaking, you definitely are running dry on oil and you need to put some oil in there. So this is the grease fitting right here and you can see right in the tip, there's a little ball, basically what I'd call a check valve right inside there and that keeps the grease fitting from spewing grease right back out. So simply enough, we just take our fitting, we pop it on the end there, and we'll just pump a couple, a couple squirts of grease in there. One, two, that's it. So we're just gonna go around the tractor, hit all the grease fittings, and there's one grease fitting that I always forget, I always mess up, go underneath the tractor, and it's where the axle articulates in the front. So I'll go under there and I'll get that one first so I don't forget it and I don't miss it because that's a very crucial lubrication point. So we'll get that done, we'll lubricate everything up front, and then we'll take you in the back, we'll talk to you about the brush cutter. We've actually got to start the tractor and raise it up so that we can get to all our lubrication points. Now there are other items of maintenance that you need to check. You need to check your air filter, you need to check your grill, your front grill, and make sure everything's dust free and not clogged up so your tractor doesn't overheat. There's also the hydraulic fluid. We can check the level on the hydraulic fluid. And there's also reservoirs in the axle that need to be checked too. Now we checked all this stuff when we serviced the tractor before, so we don't need to check it because we just serviced it about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. Now we need to address all this because grease and oil and air filters and airflow are the lifeblood of your tractor and it can last for 50 years or it can last for 50 hours. It's up to you. You've got to take care of your tractor. Let's get back here to the back and I'll show you the brush cutter. <laughs> Before we get started on the brush cutter, I want to show you two things that I use on my tractor that are different than other people. One of them is in my hand. This is called the Miracle Bamboo Pillow. And I ain't trying to sell it to you, but I am trying to tell you that if your back hurts when you're sitting on a tractor or sitting for a long period of time, I don't care if it's your office or anywhere, this works okay i don't know how it works but for some reason it takes you see that weird gap right there it takes the pressure off your spine and makes your back not hurt now when you're sitting on a tractor for 10 hours your back's gonna hurt this takes the pain away it works and i have one in my office chair too basically i just set this boom right there and i just sit on it pretty simple and the other thing i have is this cell phone mount and i use this on the tractor pretty much all the time. So you gotta keep your phone with you for safety's sake and you need to know if you're getting a call or something important's going on. So I take my phone and I stick it in this mount. Very, very simple, inexpensive mount that I use on a tractor and I'll get you a close up here. I use it on my tractor, I use it on my gator, I use it in my trucks, the same mount in everything and it works great. Let me show you. So it's pretty much universal and it has one heck of a suction cup on there. It sits just like that right there and it holds your phone nice and tightly so it doesn't go anywhere. And it's okay if it bounces, no biggie. Gotta keep your phone on you if you wanna be safe, okay? Safety, 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 safety. Now let's get to the lubrication points on the brush cutter. So the first thing I wanna do is get up underneath here and I wanna inspect my blades and make sure everything looks right underneath there, make sure nothing looks all crazy or loose, anything like that or if there's any metal hanging down like that. I wanna take care of that real quick, okay? Next lubrication point I wanna hit is the wheel. So there is a articulating area right here that has a grease fitting. There's one in the wheel. There are several in this knuckle and several in this knuckle. And what you don't see underneath here are two joints. I call them constant velocity joints or CV joints right in here that move all the time. I also like to make sure that I'm well lubricated on my arms here. And I like to put a little shot of grease right here and a little shot of grease right here too. Now the next thing we want to check is our gearbox or transmission. I'd call it just a gearbox. Right here is a filler neck and right here is a bolt that you unscrew to drain or suction out, okay? So what you want to do is fill this guy up until it drips out of that and that's it. And I think I use 80, 90 weight oil on that. Now you may want to consult your owner's manual on your particular model to see what kind of oil or grease you need to put in the gearbox. 
okay? Now folks, I hope you've learned a little bit on this quick video on how I get the tractor ready to start mowing. So we're gonna get out there and start mowing. One thing of note, every six hours I have to go through and lubricate all the lubrication points on the brush cutter and inspect it and make sure everything's okay. I gotta keep my ears peeled for any kind of strange sounds or anything like that. You have to use all your senses when you're mowing with the tractor and make sure you don't mess something up. Sometimes you could be listening and looking and paying attention and still something wrong goes on. Let me take you over here and show you what we did. Whoops. So I was just mowing along, having a good old time, and boom, I ran up on this wire. Let me get you down closer so you can see it. So this is a roll of copper wire, and you can see right there, that's where the bush hog got it. And it was just slinging that copper all over the place, so we had to stop really quickly. I knew it was there, I was looking for it, I actually had my eyes on it, but it caught one little piece of wire and sucked that big chunk all the way up in there. And the good thing about this brush cutter is it has a built-in clutch, so as soon as it sucked it in, that clutch started slipping and it didn't destroy my brush cutter, which was awesome. I had to raise it back up, get up underneath here, get some snips, cut it out, pull it out. It was all tangled up, but we got it out. So that's a good thing. We didn't hurt anything and we learned a little bit of a lesson. Keep your eyes peeled. No matter what you do, sometimes you're still gonna hit stuff. Guys, please don't forget, click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Click the little bell down there, it'll notify you when I post a new video, and we're going to get busy mowing. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time on Stony Ridge Farmer. Woo!